Hi all and uh, welcome back to this small help video. Today we are going to look at the screen. It is of course the most important part of the iPad and uh, if it's not working as expected, if it's not responding, if it's not showing what you expected it to or you have some red, blue or yellow lines down your screen, it is of course a big issue. I will uh, show you some tips and tricks that you can have a look at. Uh, we will also have a look at how to clean the screen uh, the most uh, efficient way and the best way. So uh, stay tuned and uh, have a look at these tips and tricks. So if your screen is flickering or not showing as you would like it to be, you cannot see on the screen or whatever reason you uh, have uh, an issue with your screen, I will always recommend you to do a restart of your iPad. We see it a lot of times when we get questions or whatever in and uh, when you just restart your iPad, sometimes the issue go away by itself. If you have had it running for a long time, the memory get plugged with the old uh, apps or things you have been doing on your iPad and sometimes it's a good thing to have a reboot or restart of the iPad. So that's the first trick also always to do. The next thing to have a look at is to go into settings under accessibility. You will have some different uh, areas you can go into. And the one we will have a look at now is the display and text size. And in here you have at the bottom, you have the auto brightness and uh, sometimes that can actually cause flickering or the screen not responding or whatever. So uh, sometimes it's a good uh, thing to go in and disable the auto brightness functionality and see if you can put up the brightness and go down and up and put it at the level you would like it to be and then see if that is actually an fix for your issue. Another thing in this setting area is the motion. I always recommend to have a look at the reduce motion and uh, turn that on. And that can also be a fix for your screen not responding or not uh, doing as you expect it to be. For example, if the screen is flickering. So that's a very good idea to have a look at those two settings under settings accessibility and here you have the display and text and the motion area where you can do some different settings on and off. The next thing is of course the blue, yellow or red lines that you will maybe see on your iPad, especially if your iPad is a bit old one and sometimes your kids or yourself has dropped the iPad on the floor and uh, that can actually uh, cause some damage to the screen or the cables inside your iPad. And sometimes it's uh, a good idea to uh, take your iPad. This is an old one that I have right here. And uh, when it is not working or you have the red and blue lines, it can be a good idea to put it upside down like this. And sometimes you will be able to fix uh, those uh, red and blue lines. So what you can do is just take your hand very gentle and just push down a bit all over the back of your iPad like this. This can sometimes make sure that the cables are more connected to the port that is supposed to be connected. So, th so this can actually cause the blue and red lines on your screen to go away. So that is a way to uh, fix this. Of course, you have to be very gentle, not to push too hard, because then you can, of course, mess up your screen. Um, so try that. Do it a few times, turn it on and off again, and see if you can have actually fix that uh, small issue. Then we also, of course have the screen itself and maybe you can see it on here, but this screen is actually quite dirty. 
uh, a lot of uh, fingers have been using this iPad and the best way to uh, to clean uh, an iPad screen is to take some uh, wipers, some wet wipers like this. And uh, the first thing is to just go gently over the screen and make sure to take off, off all the dirt and take some old clothes or whatever you have to wipe it again. And a lot of times that make your screen look very nice and it is actually also responding quite easily and better when it's uh, clean. Um, so that's of course a good idea to do once in a while. Sometimes you can have scratches on your screen and uh, for that uh, you can actually see I have one right here. Sometimes you can remove small scratches, but of course be very aware that deep uh, scratches that have been there for a while and has for some reason been very deep into the screen, you will not be able to remove yourself. That is uh, probably something you need to go to the repair shop and get a new screen on your iPad if that's uh, uh, what you need. But you can uh, actually uh, remove small scratches or things that have been stuck on your screen for a while and it's not just taken off by a wet wiper thing. So you can take a pencil eraser and go a bit gentle on, uh, on the sh scratch you have on your screen, just like this. And uh, after some uh, time, you can take the wiper again, take away what you put on with your pencil eraser, and uh, do that uh, four or five times on, on the same scratch and see if that is actually something that can uh, remove the scratch or at least remove whatever dirt or whatever thing that was on the screen that you would like to remove. But of course, be gentle again. It is always a good idea to be gentle when you are working with your screen uh, because if you're going too hard on the screen, you can actually make uh, the scratches worse or whatever is on your screen. So be gentle and uh, do it uh, sometimes. As I just said, I would recommend you to do it four or five times just to see if it is possible to remove some of the dirt or some of the scratches on, on your screen. But uh, always use wipers. And uh, it is, of course, also a good idea to just, in general, uh, clean your iPad once in a while. Except, for example, if you have a home button, it is also a good idea to uh, make it clean because that will, of course, make it better responding to when you click the, the home button or when you click the screen. So these are the tips and tricks. Uh, have a look at it and uh, see if you can solve the issue yourself. If you still experience problems with your screen, I would recommend you to go to the repair shop after these tricks, because then I would for sure say that it is a more serious issue and it's not something that you can uh, repair or fix yourself. And then you need to have some professionals look at your iPad. Stay tuned, give me a thumbs up or subscribe on the channel and I will be back with a new video. Goodbye.